So guys, welcome back to another video, and today we have the summer sneak peek number one. Usually you guys know I make sneak peek videos because either one, they are very exciting, or very um, surprising, or they are just very interesting and appealing to me. So, of course, this one is both of them combined. I feel like it's controversial, but mostly, probably is something good. So firstly, let's break this video down. Um, we have Kayori. Um, probably, I think that's how you read it, Kayori. Um, she is a Marvel creation character. Not Marvel Future Fight. Uh, not Marvel Future Fight characters, like not Sharon, not Shadow Shell kind. They are a uh, original character created by MCU themselves to appear in uh, What If Season 2. She is, I think, either the main character or one of the are basically from the Tesseract. So, the Marvel Forum. Greetings, Agent. This is the CM Fragment of Marvel Future Fight. What if the Tesseract fell into a different timeline and an indigenous superhero absorbed the power of the Space Stone? Master of Space, Kyori. Check out this new Mohawk superhero who can create numerous portraits at the same time. Kyori. I think... Okay, that's not cut. I'm pretty sure there isn't one with a Kyori picture down here. Uh, yeah, this is Kyori. A pretty cool character, to be honest. She has really cool effects, as I can show you in the um video. But just note that this update is um probably going to drop next week or so. Um, so it's probably the 13th of December. So what it means is basically, um, it's gonna release before the actual What If series actually comes out. So the skills might actually be custom made and not a lot of skills can be like what happens in the movie not movie, TV series, because they don't want to spoil anything, as we've seen with the um, Loki uniforms already. So just keep in mind, if the uniforms skills look disappointing, uh, it is because it, it released before the actual main update. So another thing we can talk about is that they said, they said there will be a new world boss, an epic quest, and in this case, I feel like they might do a what if epic quest, really. Um, it's pretty, it's an interesting one, really. Also, I'm um, looking here, I can see, uh, you can see some faces like Doctor Strange, bottom corner, between the W's, we can see, uh, zombie Captain America and the Watcher. Uh, also, top left, there's Iron Man. Uh, on the T, there is Captain Carter's star logo-ish things. So they did, did put some hints of what um, it could be. So this is probably what's going to be um, the uniform where it says, like, Loki's in two of kind of forever. Yeah. So um, this is for Kyori. Um, new things. I mean, nothing sneaky should come tomorrow. And let's check out the What If Season 2 official trailer first. So, we have... This Bucky kid Jones. puts on quite a... And then we have Bucky Barnes. Um, uh, as a Winter Soldier. Ant-Man. I think that's Hank Pym. Ant-Man. Um, a younger Hank Pym version of Ant-Man. And then we also have... I think that's Marvel. I don't know. I, I don't know her name. But she is, uh, we saw her in Captain Marvel, uh, Captain Marvel 1, when she, uh, was captured by the Kree, and we saw a white hair lady, I think it was, um, the center of the, actually, actually the entire Kree, as you can see. Show. Black I have eyes on the target. He does not look all that threatening. Looks um, can be deceiving, your highness. 
room. So, um, if you guys don't know, this, a spoiler alert, of course, um, this is actually Star-Lord. Um, I think this is one of, um, probably one of the main villains of the entire show. Um, for now, we can't really tell which, who is the main villain, but my guess is maybe it's Star-Lord. Because nothing is really centered around, and we do see this team up um, for a few um, shots in the trailer. This is Star Lord. Are you sure you do not want any backup? Um, nah, no, I'm here. great with kids. This is Star Lord uh, with his full celestial form unlocked. So, yeah. yeah. As you can see, we have two Ant Mans uh, Black Panther. Winter Soldier's World in the Jet and then Captain Marvel. Um, Red Ant Man is the Ant Man we saw in the ship. Blue Ant Man is Goliath. If you thought the story was over. Boom. And here's Hella. So, what's interesting is that, um, the few characters that were shown, uh, Captain Marvel is not going to get a new uniform since so she just got one. Black Panther is not going to get a new uniform. Um, Ant-Man is not going to get a new uniform. Um, the only character that back there who is probably going to get a uniform slash tier 3 is Goliath. Um, he can either be transcended with... Uh, either be transcended or tier 3. Uh, maybe transcended with... Uh, I forgot her name again. That girl. But it was only just beginning. And then Nebula. So both Hella and Nebula are tier three slash TP. TP means uh, potential transcended, transcended potential. We usually call, t call TP, and so they have a chance to be tier four. I'm gonna explain more after the video. I don't do sequels normally. So, um, in the background, we can hear, uh, of course, it is the Watcher talking. He says he doesn't do sequels, it's some, like, thing that he said. As you can see here, we have Black Panther, um, Goliath, uh, Captain Marvel, Ant-Man, and Peggy Carter. So, the, uh, uh, the, um, white-haired dude, I have a few speculations, either... It is General Ross, aka Red Hulk, uh, that one S.H.I.E.L.D. agent guy from uh, Captain America Civil War, which split the teams apart, which like t uh, said a speech about their attack with Crossbone, or Mobius, probably not Mobius really, I feel like it's um, some S.H.I.E.L.D. agent guy. But things have gotten dragon. a little twisted. Scarlet Witch. But things. Um, Scarlet Witch, another one, probably gonna be tier four, female hero, which is what everyone has been waiting for, to be honest, because she is godly. She was really good when she came out. Um, also, a quick note I won't be buying any of these uniforms until after anniversary because of Magneto. If you haven't watched my YouTube short, I'm gonna buy Magneto, his uniform for Christmas. Hopefully Jean Grey's uniform, if not Jean Grey's uniform on Black Friday, hopefully in her in anniversary because it will be 50% off and it's always very good if it's 50% off. It should be 1,250 crystals. I've gotten a little twisted. But things have gotten a little twisted. Things have gotten a little twisted. That right there, probably the Watcher. Um, right here, Odin. Or Sif, um, guy here, Odin or Loki, probably Loki because of the scepter. I feel like it's Loki, so like which thing. In the multiverse. So basically, recap what he said. Um, he does he, he usually doesn't do sequels, but the multiverse is breaking a lot. That's why he has formed a uh, callback, the Guardians of the Multiverse. This is the Sakaar world with Gamora, Thanos, Gamora.
Um, probably, maybe, Cork new character. There's actually a lot of possibilities. Valkyrie, I don't think she's gonna, she's gonna get a new uniform anytime soon. Because her look is very generic. And, uh, basically just looks like a random Valkyrie. Like, it looks like, um, the Ragnar- It looks like, uh, the- Thor, Love and Thunder Valkyrie, just with the stripes in, and we have- Who is this handsome dog? Uh, I forgot his name. See, uh, it released in December 22. We had Black Panther, Thor, Captain Marvel characters that are not gonna get a new uniform anytime soon, because they are tier 4. Gondu hologram. And we have uh, Wenwu and her mom. And um, Shashi's mom definitely looks evil. She looks super evil. We have one from the Infinity Wars. Um, fighting Thanos. I think it was. See, the time stone is uh, Hulk, and then we have, uh, and then we have Giga Chat Rocket, and then we have Giga Chat Rocket with tons of gear. Low chance Rocket's gonna get a tier 4, uh, since she, he just got a uniform uh, this year, but they could always miles him and give him a uniform, which is way better than the Guardians, because the Guardians Rocket is total trash. It's bad. Uh, I bought it to do a review, and I had mixed feelings, really. But overall, it, it didn't really dirty. And then Supreme Strange, for those who are waiting. No, Supreme Strange is not going to get a uniform. We just got a normal Doctor Strange uniform. I've been looking for you for a long time. Oh, what? Yeah, uh, now we have Doctor Strange speaking, I think. It was time, time, time. Really, and badass Kyori moment. Porto glowing eyes, standing like a fighter. Avatar vibes really. Um so that this is Kyori. Um die, die. just be careful. Die, die. Just be careful. I think this is Kyori, Kyori. Just be careful and Adrian Carter and Kyori, I don't know who this guy is. And this actually looks like the quantum realm. Guy with the green sword, no idea who it is. But this is one of our scenes creating multiple. <laughs> and we have Killmonger that returns. I don't think I can bear to narrate oh, what God. might happen next. I can bear to narrate what might happen next. So it looks like Kyrie got <laughs> into a portal. It looks like it's from the same episode. We got a code red. The Avengers Tower's been overtaken. On Christmas? What is this, Cod Air? No, wait, under siege? No, no, no. Oh, that's not it. Hey, John McClane, focus! This is the Christmas episode. Um, I would say it's interesting, but I don't know if anyone will really be excited for this one. Maybe. <laughs> Uh, Avengers moment, but I don't think this will be a very interesting video, uh, episode, all in all. Um, okay, so going back to the start, uh, we have, of course, uh, here, here. high chance one move tier three and a new uniform, maybe even if it's not a new uniform, one move tier three, maybe possibly, because they really don't have much options here for tier two and tier threes, because. Mo well, a lot of these characters uh, was in the trailer are already here for. We got Odin, um, we got Odin is here for Captain America is here for, Captain Marvel is here for, Hulk is here for, Iron Man is here for, Black Panther is here for, Winter Soldier could get a tier for, Wanda could get a tier for, Hela could get a tier for, Nebula could get a tier for. They really actually have 
only have Kyari, Wenwu, or, or, and Goliath. Doctor Strange tier 4, Rocket can get a tier 4, blah blah blah. I've been looking for you for a long time. Time, 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 time. Oh, that's time. time. Just be careful. So, this could be one of our skills. It looks really cool. So, back to the tier 4 subject. I think it will, will be uh, a tier 4 female. Uh, I don't think it would be. Uh, Bucky Barnes, aka Winter Soldier, cause I don't see how big of a role he played in the show. Well, I think Hela, Nebula, and Wanda would be more interesting, but uh, probably also not Nebula, cause no one really plays with her a lot. Um, no one, re it's she's not a fan favorite on anything. Leaving it with Hela and Scott Witch, everyone has been requesting for Hela and Scarlet Witch tier four now. I'm, I, I personally root for Scarlet Witch, not Hela. Um, I don't really use Hela that much, and Hela is probably gonna be more PVP focused, and uh, because if she's not PVP focused, um, her artifact will basically be useless. And like, what Cynic Alex said, um, because now med there are two like there are a lot of hero metas, and for PVP, I feel like it's gonna go to the villain side. So, like he, like Cynic Alex said, for Hela's new uniform to be good, she has to be bad because of her uniform option, do more damage to superheroes. I don't think I can bear to narrate what might happen next. Uh, but I still think it's gonna be Hela because I don't think they're gonna replace Captain Marvel so soon since literally. A weeks, a few weeks ago, they gave Captain Marvel tier four and even four. And Scar unless they make Scarlet Witch back to a blast type, so you give Sharon Rogers a competition, but Sharon Rogers it's still much cheaper. <laughs> but the epic quest now, um, they're either gonna do the Eternals format or the normal Sentry format. Um, possibly, uh, Kyrie's gonna be paywall. Or like Cersei and Kingo, which can be, or and Man Thing, which can be getting, which we not get, which we got with uh, uh, bio selectors or bio subscription. Maybe if they're gonna do a quest, maybe uh, if they do a, a Eternal side quest, Kyari be free, um, Watcher would be a native tier three or even native tier four. Who knows? We want a native tier four actually. It would be exciting to get an into tier 4. And like, uh, maybe a big character like Athena that can be unlocked at the end. There are actually a lot of possibilities. Um, uh, I probably will be, I probably root for an epic quest um, for What If, because it's a big franchise and it really deserves its own epic quest. Because it can be a very interesting one, to be honest. So, this is it. Uh, we have. Uh, this kid puts on quite a show. I have eyes on the target. He does not look all that threatening. Looks can uh -huh. be deceiving, your highness. Uh, uh, uh I stopped at, like, this very cool time. So there is a chance that a tier 4 character is going to get in a uniform. Or maybe even tier 5, but I don't think tier 5 is going to come too soon. So maybe, just maybe, slim chance to for new new uniform. So that's it, everyone. Thank you for watching today's video. I will see you when the patch notes comes out, or if they give us a interesting thing tomorrow. Bye.